Hey, welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can loop through and print the elements of an array. So I have an array of doubles named prices, and I just made up some fictional prices. To display one of these elements, I can use a printf statement. I will use the appropriate format specifier for the elements displayed within this array. Since this array contains doubles, I will use the format specifier for a double. Then to access one of these elements, I will type the name of my array, followed by a set of straight brackets, then an index number. So the first element in an array is zero because computers always start with zero. Then if I need to display the other elements, well, I would have to manually type prices at index zero, then one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. So this does work if you have a couple elements, but what if you have hundreds? This method is not going to be practical. A better solution is that we could make a for loop, and this for loop will iterate once and display each element of this array. So let's create a for loop, for parentheses curly braces, and we'll need an index, int i, I'll set this equal to zero, then we'll need a condition. For the time being, let's set i less than five. But later on, we're going to replace five with something else, and I'll explain that later. And then we will increment i by one. So then during each iteration, let's use this print statement again and make one change. Instead of setting an index number, let's use our index instead. Then I'm just going to add a new line character after each printf statement. So here we go. This for loop should iterate five times and it will display the elements within our array. So we have 5, 10, 15, 25, 20. Maybe I'll add a couple extra things to this format specifier. Let's display two digits and a dollar sign. That's much better. So this kind of resembles maybe a receipt of some sort, like somebody just bought a bunch of items. Okay, now here's one situation. What if we add or remove elements from this array? Let's say that a user purchases one more item for $30. Now, the way that this for loop is written, it's not going to display this last element because we set this for loop to iterate as long as i is less than or equal to 5. It's not going to display this last element, so we would need some way to update this condition. A better solution, instead of using a number here, is that we could calculate the amount of elements within our array and loop that many times. And one way in which we could do that is to use the size of operator. So let me demonstrate the size of operator real quick. It will return the size of an operand in bytes. So let's print this. So this will be an integer, and we will use the size of operator and pass in our array of prices. So this size is going to be in bytes. So the size of our array in bytes is 48 bytes. We have six elements made up of doubles. Each double uses up eight bytes, so six times eight is 48. So now let's use the size of operator instead. Size of prices, but we are going to divide the size of our array by the size of one of these elements. They're all going to be consistent because they all have the same data type. So we will take size of prices divided by the size of one of these elements let's say prices at index zero. So 48 divided by eight equals six. We will iterate through this for loop six times. And here's our array. We have five, 10, 15, 25, 20, 30, and we can add or remove elements freely. And there's no need to update our code because we may not remember to do that later on. So yeah, that's one way to loop through and print the elements of an array. You can use a for loop, then use a printf statement. And for the index of your array, you can use the index of your for loop. Then if you would like your for loop to calculate how many times it's going to iterate through this array, you can use the size of operator, pass in prices, divided by the size of one of the elements. And that will calculate how many elements are within your array. So yeah, that's one way to loop through the elements of an array. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's how to loop through and print the elements of an array in C.